Welcome to Blender, part three of the little house here. We are going to make us some physics models for this guy. So to get started, I'm going to select the bottom here, uh, hit Control I, and hide everything. Oh, I forgot I got the stairs attached to that. We're going to separate those because we'll make another little physics model for them guys. Yeah, we'll separate them for now. All right. So, I am going to go into edit mode on the floor, and I'm going to go into face select mode here. I'm going to select the top and the uh, side here. Shift D, hit P by selection, and, yep, that's the part. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to name it. So, before I name this, I'm going to name this. So, this is going to be our floor. So, we're, it is named floor, and I'm going to drop this down, and I'm going to rename this floor. Uh, I'm going to actually rename this one too because I got it in caps. Okay, so I got the floor and the properties named floor. And now I'm going to grab my physics. We're going to name it floor underscore. Oh, you didn't go. Let me try that again. <laughs> floor underscore P-H-Y-S. And then we're going to copy it. Why did you do that? Hit F2. Floor underscore P H Y S enter. Uh, F2. Control C. Hit my drop down. Control V. Because I want to name the object properties the same as the other. So that one's done. Uh, for the stairs, I'm going to go ahead and select the stairs. We're going to re go ahead and rename it right now. So, F2. We're going to name it stairs. I lost it. It disappeared. There it goes. F2. Control C to copy it. Hit our drop down. And double click Control V. That's our stairs. Now we need to make a physics model for the stairs. So, yeah, for the physics model of the stairs, uh, we're just going to select the top plane and the side plane and do a Shift D and then a P selection. Tab, select your physics model. If it let me select it, there it goes. And we're going to name it uh, F2 stairs underscore P H Y S. I'm going to copy that, Control c and I'm going to hit Enter, drop down, double-click, Control-V, and that's our stairs, and our stairs physics model. So, we're good there. Uh, let's all unhide all this stuff, hide our plane, hide these guys, and... Uh, I guess we'll do the walls next, so we're going to hide this, this, and all the windows, all the window frame, we'll, we'll, uh, uh, hide the door. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to separate um, this stuff into, well, I'm going to join these guys together first. So Control-J, join them together. And then I'm going to... Uh, Grab the faces and separate them in their own parts. So that's those parts. So I'm going to hit P selection. So this guy is by itself now. The inside and outer wall. I'm going to do the same with the rest of them. So grab this one, tab, select both parts. P selection. Tab, grab it, move it, make sure you got everything. Uh, this one, same thing. Wall and wall. P, selection, tab, move it, and then just drop it back with a right click. Uh, you guess keys. And then, this little guy needs fixed, so we're going to fix him real quick. So grab this, and go over here to the materials, and just click uh, assign, and that'll 
fix that purple spot. Okay, now that we have those separated into their own little parts, uh, we need to rename them because they're all named Goofy. And uh, we'll copy them and make physics models too after we rename them. So uh, this one's going to be, I'm going to call it left side. So left side. Yeah, you know what? Let's call it left wall. Left walls. Enter. Uh, F2. Control C. Drop down. Control V. Got our left walls. And we'll do right walls. F2. Control C. Drop down. Control V. Get everything named right. And we'll do uh, rear walls. I probably should have named these walls left. I should have done it the other way around. That way it stays in order, but it's okay. Uh, we'll call it back walls. F2. Control C. To drop down. Control V. And the front one we're going to not mess with right this second. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, make our physics models here and rename these. So we're going to take this one and do Shift D. And right click and drop it. And that come out as left wall 001. So we're just going to double click that. Backspace this guy over here and do an underscore PHYS. Enter. F2, Control C, drop down. Oh, I'm back in caps lock again. Darn it. Hold on. I'm forever in caps lock. Uh, caps lock. PHYS. Good. Enter. F2, Control C, drop down. Control V. And that's that wall. Sorry, this guy. This stuff's time-consuming, guys. <laughs> uh, right walls, same thing. We're gonna make a copy. Shift D, right-click, drop it. F2 to rename it. Backspace this stuff. Underscore P H Y S. And then enter. F2, Control C. Control V. And then the same with the back wall. So we're going to copy it. Drop it. F2. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down. F2. Underscore. PYS. F2 again. Control C. Hit the drop down. Please, please. <laughs> and control B. Okay, now that we've got our physics models there, we need to select our physics models and we need to edit these guys. So, ooh, what is that? A stupid plane. Let's hide that. Um, so, the back wall here, we got the back wall physics selected. And I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to grab these guys. Make sure you grab the right ones. <laughs> so, we'll grab that one, that one, that one, and that one. And we're just going to merge those guys at center. And dissolve that vertex. Uh, dissolve vertices. So we just got one line through there, which is fine. I don't know what the heck that is. We're not going to mess with the. Actually, you know what? Let's just do a limited dissolve on it. There. One big plane. And we'll do the same thing with the inside. M at center, and then A, X, limited dissolve, and that cleans all that up. And we're going to do the same thing with this physics model. If we can grab it. Yep, that's the physics. So go into edit mode with it. Grab the vertex for the windows. And M at center. A, X, limited dissolve. I'm going to clean all that up. 
and do the same thing with the inside again. M at center, A, X, lemon dissolve. Okay, the front wall here, I don't think, think we renamed it, did we? No, we didn't. And we haven't made a physics for it either, so this is the original, so we're going to name it front. And hit the drop down, name it front. And then we'll copy it, shift D. And we're going to rename it front physics. So front underscore PHYS. And F2, control C. Double click, control V. And now we have our physics, and we can go ahead and clean that up also. So we're going to grab all of these vertices. Yep, I got them all. M at center. And we're going to do the same with the window over here. M at center, and we'll flip around to the other side. At center and these four. I think it'll select them for me. M at center, hit A, X, limit is all, and that cleans all that up. So now I need to explain to you guys a little bit about uh, convex hole and prim in Second Life for physics models. So the the outside walls are going to end up being convex hull. And the front wall is going to end up being prim, and it needs to be prim so that we can actually walk, walk through the hull. Uh, the convex hull is basically going to make a, it's going to follow the bounding box of the prim itself. So when it gets into Second Life, it's going to do if I can select a box. That's what our physics model is going to look like in Second Life as convex hull. It's just going to follow that. But the prim, it, it'll actually follow the actual shape of it if we change it to prim in the uh, settings, the feature settings of the edit window in Second Life. So there's a limitation in Second Life uh, when you change something to prim, and that limitation is it has to be a half a meter wide or it just don't work. So let me turn this bounding box off. And in order to get this half a meter we're going to have to add some geometry to it so before we mess with the physics model we're going to mess with the uh, wall itself so i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and hide the physics model and that'll leave us just with just our wall all right now let's go ahead and uh, make our wall half a meter wide but still not <laughs> so if we go into edit mode let's go into solid view uh, we're going to grab this vertex here, and I'm going to be watching numbers up here. Uh, I probably don't have to, though. I could probably hit E, X, 0.5. No, let's do Y. Don't see that. E, Y, 0.5. And left click. So now our wall, if we go into object mode, is 0.5 meters, which is half a meter. So once we have that, we need to make this little triangle. So I'm going to go into top view and make a triangle and fill it. And then we need to make sure that the face is pointing down. So we'll go back in object mode, turn on face orientation, and the face is pointing down, which is good. If it's not, uh, go, go back into edit mode, select it and hit shift in and uh, you can click the little inside and that'll make a flip inside out so if it looks like that that's wrong that is correct okay so we got our model done now we have to do the same thing with the physics model so I'm gonna hit tab I'm gonna hide that one and pull out the front physics model and hit tab grab that same vertex do an ex extrude on the Y by 0.5 and that puts that where it's supposed to be back in the top view 
um, make a triangle, fill it, and my face is still pointing down, so I'm good there. If yours is not, remember, just uh, select this part, hit shift in, and you can do an inside. So up is bad, down is good. <laughs> And that fixes our physics model for our front so that we can apply prim. That way we can walk through the hole. So uh, I exported these one at a time. I exported the, the front and then I exported the physics models for the uh, just the front piece. Oops, I got this stupid metric thing on. <laughs> uh, so I exported those. Those are on the desktop. So I went to build, upload, mesh model. And I go to desktop and I uh, grab the door test DAE and left click and move your mouse around. You can see that you got a front and a back because if we'd flipped it around, you wouldn't see it. It'd be invisible if we didn't have both faces the right direction. So you know both faces are the right direction. And we could turn this to zero. Go to our physics, choose one from file, browse, and grab our door test via physics because that's what I named it, and you can see it's nice and pretty, following everything the way it's supposed to. Uh, go here, calculate weights and fees. It's coming in at 0.92 land impact, which is great. It's less than a prim. And we'll go ahead and upload that. And we'll res it out. And we got a red side. And we got a yellow side, which is good. And if we try to walk through the door... Oh, nothing, nothing. It's broken. <laughs> but if you go into edit mode and you go to the features tab here and you change this convex hole to prim and we can close that. Now, well, now I can walk through the door. And if you walk into the wall, you run into it. And you walk into the other wall, you run into it. Go right aside. And you can walk through the door. So we're good. My A was broken. I'm walking weird. But I just wanted to show you guys that <laughs> the physics model is going to work. And it's a good idea to test it because if you broke it, it won't work. So in case you guys don't know, uh, if you want to see your physics model, you can right click and go to edit. And in this little eyeball thing here where you change it to prim, you can click the little eyeball thing and it'll show you what your physics looks like. But we can still walk through there. Okay, we're done in here, so we can kill this. Let me uh, delete this so I don't leave it in people's way. And we're going to kill Second Life. And onto our roof. So we can turn off our face orientations. Uh, we can go ahead and hide all this. Because that's all done. And now we need our roof. Actually, let me go ahead and unhide all that because I've got things in all kind of different order here. So the floor's done. Stairs, stairs are done. All of this is done. Door we're not doing yet. This stuff one. Oh, let's see. What are we going to do with that? Okay, so we got to do a little bit of finagle in here with our what's connected to what. We got a crack there. I didn't notice that crack. We we'll had to move that. <laughs> uh, what? We'll select all this. We're just going to scale that on the Y just a hair to close up that gap. That should be okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right. Uh, we don't need... I'm going to select both of these at the same time. And we don't need none of this right now. Make sure I got it all. We don't need none of it. And we're going to separate it. that. Oh, that didn't get
get separated so we'll select that section and we're gonna hide it also good now we have an inside and outside of this thing which is fine I'm actually going to join all this stuff together so that I can separate it into uh, parts that I want to separate it into. So select both and hit, uh, actually I'm going to do it the other way because I want it to be named roof. Control J. And we're going to rename everything anyway. Um, now we need to separate this thing into the parts we want it to be. So I know I want these three and these three. Oh, we missed a part. Control J. There, now we got the inside and outside. So let's go to three. Go into X-ray mode. Go to side view. And we're gonna select. We're gonna select those also. So we've got the whole right side and the very top. I think I want that guy too. Have to be careful what I'm selecting and what I'm not selecting here. Yeah, just uh, just select the whole top. I don't know why I did it all crazy like that. As long as you don't select these uh, center points down here, it should be fine. So we're going to separate that P by selection. And then this part. We are going to do the same thing with, uh, let's do, yeah, this, and this, those guys, those guys, that guy. And I'm just selecting the center dots here to make sure I catch everything. So if you see black dots in your, uh, Yeah, it looks like I got everything there. Uh, this one I don't want selected, so I'm going to hit Z and just unselect it. And P by selection. Turn off X-ray mode. And let's grab stuff and drag it around to make sure we got everything we wanted. So that looks good. That all looks good. And that all looks good. So we got three parts for our roof now. Okay, so we got our roof parts here. I'm going to go ahead and rename them ahead of time. So this part, I'm going to find it over here, and I'm going to name it roof right side. Uh, roof right side. And then we'll grab this one and name it roof left side. And there I go. I'm not doing my things again so let me uh f2 control c hit my drop down and control v and then the same with this one f2 control c control v i'm terrible at naming stuff guys <laughs> and then uh we'll call this little roof roof little Roof. Little. And hit enter. F2. Control C. Drop down. Double click. Control V. Enter. Good. So for the physics model of the roof, we're going to uh, grab this right side here and hit tab. And we are going to select the three outside planes. Uh, the inside, we could make a physics model for the inside also, but I don't really care about it. The only thing that's going to happen is if somebody flies, they'll be able to fly through the roof, but then they won't be able to be able to get back in. They'll have to go around the door. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we can select those three planes. Hit Shift D, copy them. Uh, hit P by selection. Hit Tab. Grab the, the uh, let's see, make sure I grab that. Yep, I did. And we're going to go ahead and name that right side physics. So, right side underscore PHYS. 
uh, enter F2, Control C, hit the drop down, double click, Control V, and that's good. Uh, we're going to go into edit mode of this guy, and we're going to turn on snapping to uh, vertex is good. Uh, I'm going to hit Alt Z to see it on the inside. Uh, hit edge select mode, grab that edge, and we're going to select the lowest point of this roof, which will be down here. So I'm going to hit G and hit Control and just snap it right there. And that's the lowest point of the roof. And then we need to do the same with the top. So grab that edge, hit side view, and the highest point's up there. So I'm just going to hit G, Z, hold control, and I'm going to snap that sucker right to the top there. And that should take care of our right side of our physics uh, vertical axis. Now we need to do the horizontal axis, so I'm just going to grab uh, one of these edges, doesn't matter. And I'm going to hit uh, G and Y, control, and just. Okay, I need to back up a little bit. <laughs> GY control and touch the bottom left side here and that should be good enough and then we're going to grab this one and it looks like it's pretty much good enough we're just going to leave it alone it's good enough but basically you want to try to cover the whole bounding box of the of this roof and that should do it we're going to do the same with the other parts uh, grab this one and I'm going to grab all the it's like move. Grab these guys. And hit uh, Shift D. P. Selection. So, on our roofs, uh, we're going to make actually make our physics models prim for the roof also. Um, otherwise, the bounding box wouldn't let you walk around in the house at all because it'll be as big as the roof. So, uh, we've got those selected. We need to do the same with, that we was doing over here earlier. So, um, edit mode, select the, what's going on here? There we go. The top was selected. Good. I just couldn't see it. Tripping me out over here. Uh, and we're going to do a GZ control, and we're going to touch the top there, and that'll snap that top edge to the top of the roof because we need to match the bounding box. Same with the bottom edge here, uh, Alt-Z, grab the bottom edge, and go to side view, and do GZ, control, and we'll snap to the bottom there. And you only have to do one side, you don't have to do both. Uh, we just have to make sure the vertical axes are good. Same with the sides. I think they're actually okay. I'm just going to leave them be. Shouldn't matter that much. And that's good for that one. We also need to rename it. So let's rename it. Underscore P H Y S F two Control C Double click Control V. Good. And then we do our little roof. So we will grab you and you and you and you. Shift D, P, selection, tab, and we just got to get him uh, to the top. So I'm going to grab one of those, hit 3, hit G, Z, control, and snap it. That's very strange. It looks like I grabbed more than I wanted to. Oh, I was in the wrong. I was in the wrong part. <laughs> now I'm on the physics model. Uh, easy. Control and snap to the top there. And that should take care of that one. We'll do the bottom also. Easy. Control. And that's good enough. Okay, back in the object mode. And we need to name this thing. So, 
them click it uh, underscore PHYS F2 uh, control C control V and that's our roof physics so I'm gonna uh, unhide everything alt H and we'll hide this plane because we don't really need it and then I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna type in PHYS and I'm gonna hide all of this stuff that way I don't have any of my physics models showing we can kill that now we just have our house here uh, so we have our ceiling, roof done so I'm gonna hide the roofs we got the walls done so I'm gonna hide those the floor is done so this stuff is what we have left so what we have left is our window frames our baseboard and our door frame and the other parts here but I'm gonna hide the door for now and yeah we'll just hide these those are probably gonna get joined back together but we're gonna hide those anyhow so I want to separate this stuff into its parts so yeah, let me go back here okay that's all one piece that's great so I'm gonna go into edit mode go to x-ray mode uh, go into vertex actually I want to go into face select mode and I'm just gonna select all this stuff make sure I got all of them and I'm gonna separate them P selection same with these ones so I, I went back in object mode grabbed the main piece again and we're gonna select those and separate those by selection same with these ones and that gives us all those parts um, now I want to unhide our walls so back wall this is why I wanted to name it wall first <laughs> left wall right walls and it should be a front wall okay just this front okay front so now I'm just going to join those parts together so I'm going to select these two actually I'm going to select the inside and then the wall that way I keep my names control J grab the window frame and then the wall control J window frame wall control J and this keeps all my names right and these little parts aren't going to add that much to the size of the wall so the physics models will still work okay we got one more little piece to do so I'm gonna do alt H and hide the floor hide this floor thing um, I actually want all of this stuff joined back together control J all that mess uh, control I and hide so now we just have this piece and it really doesn't need a physics model we're just gonna make a, a cube for it and we're gonna turn it non-physical anyway so um gotta name it uh, we're just gonna name it porch roof then F2 control C control V and then we're gonna make the cube and we're just gonna name that cube uh, porch roof underscore P H Y S and oops control V underscore P H Y S okay guys uh, I'm gonna drop this down here and make a new folder and call it house test and I'm gonna delete this stuff delete that I need to keep 
uh, cause I want to do a test on this thing. Um, uh, let's go ahead and go through our names and, and check them real quick. So back walls, back walls is good. Back walls physics is good. Empty. I'm just going to delete it now. Um, floor is good. Floor physics is good. Front's good. Front, I'm just take, checking both names of all my stuff. See, that one's wrong. So, well, that one I don't care about. I'm actually going to delete that. <laughs> okay. Uh, left walls, good. Left walls, physics, good. Plane. This is the door. We're going to rename it door. And we're going to rename the bottom plane here door too. We're not going to do anything with the door right now. Uh, floor is good. Floor physics is good. Front, front physics, left walls. And just go through and check all your stuff, guys. Oops. Good, good, good. Sorry, this is tedious and slow. And I'm making you guys suffer through it. <laughs> all right, all my all my objects are good. Okay, guys, to test this thing out, we're just gonna start at the top here, and we're gonna select all our objects that are not physics, and make a DAE out of those. Uh, we're not gonna join them together. We're gonna separate them, or we're gonna export them as a link set. So back walls, skip the door, uh, floor. Front, left walls, porch roof, right walls. It should be every other one. Uh, it should be everything. All except for door, because we're not doing the door. So I'm going to go File, Export, Collada. Make this bigger so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Uh, desktop, House Test. Operator Presets, SL Open Sims. Static, which gives us selection only, and then I'm going to check this copy because I like unchecking it. Uh, class building DAE is good, and we will export Collada. Now we have to do the exact opposite, so we're going to select our walls, or our physics, all our physics now. And I'm holding control to do this, by the way. Oh, it says it down there, don't it? Uh, get all of our physics. File. Export Collada and everything should be the same. So we're in the right folder. The name is almost right. Selection only. All these presets are still the same. We are just going to add to this PHYS uh, and export Collada. Okay, we got all that stuff exported. So let's jump into Second Life. Ta da! And let's upload it. See what happens. Upload mesh model. Uh, desktop. Where's it? Folder I made. Oh, we got a blind house test. That's what I was after. And we'll do building DAE. And we're gonna turn this to zero. Go to physics. Choose one. From file. Browse. Why is my physics model not in there? Where'd it go? Okay, let's export that again. Because I lost it. File, export, Palata. Where are you? Oh, I put it in the wrong folder. There we go. That's better. And now we'll name it PHYS. All those are still the same. Export, Palata. Now, if I do uh, from file. Browse, physics. Well, we definitely have physics. It doesn't look like anything sticking out crazy. There's some red stuff going on over here. We will physics mesh too dense. Remove the small triangles. So we've got an issue. So I don't know what that is. It looks like it's part of the physics model. So we're going to go kill that and go back to Blender and check out our physics model and see what the heck. So while I'm in here, I'm just going to hit tab. I got everything selected. I'm going to hit A.
Oh, that stuff's hidden underneath. That's why. Um, and you know what? Let me tab out of there. I'm gonna hit Control I. That was not Control. Control I, and hide everything, and just take the physics models here. Go into edit mode. Vertex select mode. And I think we might have a stray vertex or something somewhere. So we're going to go to mesh, clean up, delete loose, and we got rid of something. Don't know what it was, but we got rid of something. <laughs> and let's go ahead and export that again. So I'm going to grab... Uh, Should be okay. We'll just try it. File, export, Galata. Uh, house test. And physics. We'll just add a little plus here to name it physics. Yeah, I like two. And then export Galata. And let's try it again. So build, upload, mesh model. DAE. Turn it to zero. Physics. Choose one. File, browse. Physics 2. Now nah, we still got that issue. Okay, so so we're still having issues. Um, I am going to go back into Blender, and since we have all our physics models here, um, I'm going to select everything. Uh, hit Tab. Go to Vertex Select Mode. And I'm going to do some cleanup up here. Because we do have some extra stuff. Like these two vertices, they can be merged to center. This vertice can be removed, dissolve vertices. Uh, same with back here. But I want to do it by piece by piece. So we'll grab that part. Uh, those vertices are fine. I think all that's fine. This part. It's okay now. These guys I can merge also. Merge at center. This one, I'm going to merge those at center also. The rest of it looks pretty good. And since that was where the problems were, I'm going to select all this. And we have a. That'll be fine. File, export, Collada. Back to our house test physics. We're going to add a plus. Do physics four. All these should still be the same. Back in a second life, we'll give it another try. That's better. That fixed her up. So we will double check everything here. Calculate weights and fees. Takes a while. It's a big object. <laughs> there we go. Uh, don't have a land impact. But we got a 12 download and a 7 physics, which so it should be 19. And a server five, so yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and upload it and see what it does. Upload takes a while too, because it's a lot. Now we can just res this guy out. Well, it's looking okay. Let's uh, move it down to where it belongs. Or about there. It's looking pretty good. Now we have to uh, go into edit mode and mess with some of this stuff. So the front here. So we're going to do edit linked and go to the front. Go to features. We're going to change that to none because we don't want to bump into that. Uh, the very front of the house, we need to change it to prim. 
and the roof parts we need to change to prim also. And with those things done, it should be good. Let's go uh, run over here and try to climb in it. Well, we're in. Let's see if we can run out of walls. Wall physics look good. And I run into the roof, which is normal, but I don't run into that one. That's good. Check for cracks and stupid stuff. There's some little weird stuff going on up there. A little weird stuff going on up there. But for the most part, it's not too bad. I'm just giving it a good little once-over inspection. I'm pretty happy with it. He stands goofy, but walks on the roof. Very nice, very nice. I am happy with that. So after a little research, guys, uh, the the red spot on the uh, uploader, that was just vertex being too close together or, or stray vertex. So when, you, when you're in here and you're looking at your physics model, if you have... Um, vertex that are spread apart uh, like these ones were I actually combined these and merged them at center that way it cleared up that problem that's what that was so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> watching me make the crazy physics models for this thing uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and my patreons down below if you guys want to support me and I will see you in the next one when we do the uh, texturing for this guy.